Prior to the new stay-at-home order, Maryland State Police tweeted they've already received 378 calls reporting businesses or individuals not in compliance with the governor's executive order. They also confirmed two arrests have been made, one in Charles County and another in Carroll County. According to the Charles County Police Department, a man was arrested for hosting a barbecue attended by 60 people. In Carroll County, Maryland State Police confirmed a man was charged with violating the executive order and 10 counts of providing alcohol to teens at a hotel party that he hosted yesterday. According to the new stay-at-home orders that will be in effect in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, leaving your home for non-essential activities is now a crime. In D.C., if convicted, it's punishable by up to a $5,000 fine and 90 days in prison. In Maryland, if convicted, it's punishable by up to a $5,000 fine and one year in prison. In Virginia, if convicted, it's punishable by up to a $2,500 fine and one year in prison. So how quickly will they start enforcing this new mandate? In D.C., it'll go into effect at Wednesday at 12.01 a.m. In Maryland, they start today at 8 p.m. And in Virginia, enforcement is already in effect. The state's attorney's offices will prosecute any violations of the stay-at-home orders. I spoke to the Montgomery County State's Attorney, and they say they want people to understand what will get them in trouble before they start charging people with misdemeanors. The Office of the State's Attorney will work closely with our partners in law enforcement to educate the public about the governor's order. But in the event that you are caught not being compliant, I spoke to Maryland Attorney Ronald Handy to find out how a misdemeanor charge could impact your future. Clearances. If you're convicted of a misdemeanor, you could lose your job. You could lose your security clearance. 